long, long time ago, I had a dentist. And he worked on my mouth continuously. He made a fortune on my mouth. Whenever I mentioned using a toothpick, he would go into a rage. Never, he said, never, never use a toothpick on your gums. So I didn't use a toothpick. He scared the hell out of me. But today, I now use toothpicks. Not the wooden ones, because they're no good. They get soft after uh, 30 seconds of use, and plus they're too thick to get between your gums. What I use is this one here I get in the grocery store. It's got a hook on the end, and I put it between my gums. And then this one here is super thin, and it slips in between the gums. So I use this one first, then I follow up with this one. And then I rinse my mouth out with water. Just a sip. That's all you need. Rinse your mouth out. And it'll get any food particles left over. What the toothpicks didn't get, flush them out. Now, after eating, you don't have any food left between your teeth. If you don't have any food left between your teeth, how are you going to get gum disease? How are you going to get tooth decay? You're not. I frustrate my dentist today. I go in there, they clean my teeth, and they don't even get blood from deep cleaning my teeth. And it exasperates them because they can't make any money off me. I do these things right here, and I take care of my mouth. And I use this hooked one here to get under the gums that maybe every once in a while I'll get a little blood on gums. I put that hook in there and clean it and in a couple days there ain't no more blood. And that's one thing dentists love to see is blood coming from your gums after they clean it. Because then that's when they tell you we need to do some special treatment. Deep cleaning. Because you've got bleeding gums. Well, I'm just showing you the cheap tools that you can use to keep your gums and your teeth healthy.